for coming back to my channel. I am so grateful for all of the new subscribers, all of the love. Thank you guys so much for showing so much support to all of my videos. Today, as you can see, I have a cooking video. I'm going to be sharing Simply Food by T.Y.'s Salmon Croquette Recipes. I hope I said that right. But um, I wanted to show you guys this recipe. I think it's going to be super easy and super tasty. I'm just using the, the canned salmon, which I got from H-E-B. So uh, yeah, make sure you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and also share it with your friends. And leave a comment down below if you have anything you want to say, any tips, any tricks. I am always open to new ideas. So I'm going to go ahead and get into the video. Okay guys, so first I'm going to share with you all of the ingredients that you will need to complete this recipe. So I'm going to have a white onion here, a green bell pepper, red bell pepper, mayonnaise, you're going to be using one third of a cup of mayonnaise, Old Bay, two tablespoons, onion powder, a half a teaspoon, yellow mustard, one tablespoon, one half of a teaspoon of red pepper, this is cayenne pepper, half a teaspoon of black pepper, and half a teaspoon of onion powder. So I'm gonna go ahead and start chopping up my vegetables and I'll be right back. All right, let's go ahead and get to chopping. So I did have these vegetables delivered to me today, so they are super fresh. I'm just going ahead and cutting my white onion. I'm cutting it down the middle and I'm peeling back the skin of the onion on both sides. So I like to just go ahead and get that skin out of the way and put it in the trash and then go ahead and start chopping my stuff up. I'm gonna put everything in this bowl and now I'm gonna start working on my green bell pepper. And I'm just gonna slice off the very top, bust it down the middle, and then just get the seeds out. And I'm only going to use one side of each bell pepper.
Okay, so I have all of my veggies cut up for this. Actually, I think I'm gonna add a little bit of fresh garlic. You guys know I love garlic. So let me cut that up too. Even though I'm only gonna use four cloves for this recipe, I'm gonna chop up all this because I'm sure I'm gonna be using garlic and other. salmon so these are two cans of 14 ounce salmon okay this is pink salmon wild Alaskan salmon I just got it from HEB I'm gonna set this to the side I'm just gonna use a can opener open it up make sure you have a trash can nearby Drain it and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've drained the salmon. I'm gonna open it up. Now for this, you just wanna get all of the sea, the shells and stuff, like the bones, all that, you just wanna take it out. I see, as I see them, I'm just gonna Now if you do feel some bones, it's perfectly fine because they're really soft and they're, you know, it's already been cooked down. So don't worry about the bones if you see a lot of bones and if you miss some during this process. You just kind of want to thumb through it, you know, massage it through and feel for any bones. Actually, this isn't bad. bones and the stuff that you don't want in your salmon croquettes. 
So I'm trashing that, washing my hands off. Okay, so here's the canned salmon. After I have taken out the bones, it's nice and boneless. <laughs> I did leave a lot of the skin on there, you guys. I wanna try to get as much nutrients as possible. So now what I'm doing is I'm just going through and making sure I don't feel anything super hard. Make sure you wash your hands, honey. salmon to this bowl of my onion, red bell pepper, green bell pepper, and garlic. So I'm adding it in. Then I'm gonna rinse off this cutting board. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so good, y'all. Make sure you catch any seeds. Ooh, seeds. Okay, so now we're gonna add in the ingredients. I have a half a teaspoon of onion powder, a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, two tablespoons of Old Bay, a half a teaspoon of black pepper, a half a teaspoon of onion powder, I have about a third of a cup of Hellman's mayonnaise, and then about a teaspoon or tablespoon of yellow mustard. Also, I'm gonna add in one egg for binding purposes. Okay, so actually in his recipe, he used two eggs. So he used one egg per can of uh, uh, salmon. So there's one egg. I should have used a bigger bowl. There's two eggs. And I'm gonna get to mixing. Oh, this feels so gross. Definitely a very messy, sticky situation. Okay, so I got all my salmon mixed up with the white onion, green bell pepper, red bell pepper, garlic, all the seasonings. So now I'm gonna pat them out and I'm gonna put them on this plate. I'm gonna wrap them in saran wrap and I'll let them sit for maybe 20 minutes just so they can kind of get their form.
right, so I'm adding a little bit of canola oil to my hot pan. It's warming up, and I just want to be mindful and let you guys know that we are not trying to deep fry these salmon patties. We're just trying to brown them a little bit on the bottom. So I'm going to let that heat up. So now that my pan is nice and hot, I'm going to go ahead and spatula in my salmon patties one at a time. As you can see, the oil is perfectly hot, not too hot. And I do want to let you guys know, don't overcrowd your pan. Okay guys, so you guys just saw me make the salmon croquettes. Here they are. Oh my gosh, you guys. They taste amazing. So, uh, I just really wanted to share with you guys this recipe. It is so freaking good. Simply Food by Two Wine, thank you so much for sharing this recipe. I definitely copycatted it, but I did, you know, tweak it a little bit, add my little, you know, my own little flair to it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for staying tuned and for watching and for sharing and commenting and all that good stuff. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video.